Playing games on the easiest setting should be less frowned upon. Sometimes I just want to enjoy playing a game and not have to stress every few minute to move to the next part. Sometime I like to just enjoy the world, music, or story, without having to see the same cutscene every few minute when I die at the same part 10 times in a row. Also some games aren't meant to be impossible to beat. Why would I play a cartoon game like Spongebob to stress myself out at not being able to beat a jellyfish boss? How dare you want to enjoy games? You have to play on the hardest difficulty, or you're just a posing noob. Slash S. Challenge is one element of enjoying a game but not the only element. When I get a new game I will usually play on the easiest or second easiest setting to enjoy the setting and gameplay. Then if I feel like more of a challenge I will go back, heck, sometimes I will play Civ 5 2 player and then immediately make player 2 quit so I can play it just as a world building sim. Games are meant to be fun. You do you champ. There's a game that's unfortunately escaping me right now that does this really well. It frames its easy mode as its most relaxing. Sometimes people just want to kick back and feel like a goddamn superhero. Or something to that effect. Contrast that with the Wolfenstein reboots difficulty slider, which puts BJ in a baby bib and a pacifier if you pick the easiest setting. This seems silly but I had to learn this lesson myself. I used to feel like I was somehow fucking up if I had to turn the difficulty level down. In my case it was my low self-esteem just trying to find any way to call myself a failure. It's always worth remembering that your hobbies that you do to relax are supposed to be fun and a way to decompress. If they don't accomplish that goal something isn't right. I mean the only games where lowering the difficulty gives you a vastly different experience are like Doom and other combat-centered games. Other than that games are about having fun so you play how you wanna and rock the fuck on. There is a fine line between a game difficulty being a chow lang and a difficulty being rage inducing. Honestly, after a hard day's work I don't want a lot of challenge in a game. That can wait for the weekend. During the week I play Animal Crossing because it's easy, laid back and helps me relax. If I play any other game during the week I'll usually put it on easy mode, and I'm fine with that. I'm old for a gamer, mid 40s, so my reflexes are not all there. If I'm playing a game with an interesting story but difficult mechanics I will drop it down. On the other hand, I enjoy strategy games for the mental challenge so I'll jack up the difficulty. I play Doom on easy because I suck at shooters but like playing Doom single player. I have no desire to waste time getting god enough to to do hard let alone nightmare. Beat the game as fast as you can and move on to another game. Challenge is fun up to a point, fella. The world of video games is really vast and rich and includes everyone, and not everyone has the same time, skill, coordination, or degree of masochism to get good at everything. If you want to play on easy, hell, more power to you. If that option is there is because the devs wanted to give everyone an opportunity to enjoy the game, and that's okay. I personally try to beat every game in max difficulty, not hardcore, let's be reasonable, and I enjoy the reward of clearing zones or levels with lots of effort, but that stresses you out one way or the other and I understand not everyone is up to that. Those people are just shitty gatekeepers and you shouldn't pay them any attention. Just call them any equivalent of OK Boomer that applies to them and keep playing. Now, if you play Souls games, prepare to suffer because every beautiful sight and scenery come after hours of rage and frustration. Some people enjoy the story. Some people enjoy a skillful challenge. Both are perfectly acceptable. But, I am wholeheartedly in favor of extra cutscenes and special items as a reward for playing on a harder difficulty. Personality I pretty much always choose the second most hardest difficulty in every game I play. I don't even read the difficulty description. I choose second most and go in blind. I find it a pretty nice balance between challenge and story. Get good. I think all games should have a story mode or unlock mode so that people who aren't as skilled can have fun too. It'd be so easy to just put like a skull next to your achievements or unlocks or something if you want to show off that you go hard. But yeah. I had a buddy make fun of me for never leaving the power suit in F04. Like, 
so sorry that I like being able to jump off a hover ship and take no damage then melee a bunch of ghouls without getting irradiated. I think people forget that video games aren't always supposed to be competitive cesspools. Do not try Dark Souls. Since when is this an unpopular opinion? I've been playing a lot of Injustice 2 and I will without question play on very easy mode every single time I play. I don't care about competence in a video game. I prefer to reserve my energy for something more important. Imagine enjoying things LMAO. I was a a manger at GameStop and would get lambasted for this. I was in my late 30s with a wife and kids and just wanted to enjoy games. Open world I go easy. Strict shooters are on normal. But I just want to relax and enjoy. I would argue it really depends on the game. In Doom for example the game is straight up better on the higher difficulties. Honestly I think sometimes people project their own insecurities on this sub. Who actually cares if you play it on easy? Who even knows? I thought it was my turn to repost this. Play games on whatever setting you like. Who gives a crap what other people think? Video game is a performative medium, which is why gamers are attached to this idea of easy equals bad. That's especially true since in last 10 years, video games have got easier and more accessible, there's virtually no challenge in most AAA title on normal difficulty, save for Doom and a few IPS. Finally, difficulty is part of how the enjoyment. Easy games are boring and beating a hard opponent is satisfying AF, which is part of why the Soul series is so popular. I guess my view on it is if you're making it too easy for the sake of chilling, maybe it's not the right game for you as you're missing part of the experience. There are lots of chill games where performing isn't linked to hard skill, such as The Witness, Portal, Animal Crossing or Journey.